Welcome to Proverbs 31 by Design. My name is Tina Heisman. I help Christian women who are struggling with the overwhelm of trying to balance being a wife, mother, and career woman. When they work with me, they discover how to create their own unique level of balance so that they can experience the joy, passion, success, and wholeness they have been seeking in life. So in April, we are focusing on bringing more joy, happiness, and amusement into the different areas of our lives. This week, we are going to start by talking about one way that we can add some fun to our faith lives. We're actually going to talk about a lot of different ways that we could. But before we get started, I want to let you know that I have a free private Proverbs 31 community on Facebook where you can come to get inspiration for your life. Search Proverbs 31 by design in the Facebook search bar. Also, I have created a free download called The Ultimate Guide to Guilt-Free Self-Care. It's a guide to help you take care of yourself in mind, body, and spirit so you can feel like your best self every day. Visit my website to download it. Okay, let's dive in and talk about how to have more fun in your faith life. Did you even know that your faith life could be fun? Or by chance, do you have a belief that it has to be serious and formal? I probably grew up thinking it had to be that way, maybe more that way, but I've really had an amazing spiritual journey over the past 10 years, and I have learned so much about what having a well-rounded faith life really is. And I would love to share some things with you today that I'm familiar with that might resonate with you as fun and give you some resources to continue looking at this for yourself. I just really want to encourage you to make it fun. And so we're going to start with the obvious way of making it fun, and then we're going to kind of branch out from there. So bear with me here. But yes, I am going to say it. Going to church is one way to have fun with your faith life. Yeah, church can be fun. It doesn't have to be all formal and monotonous. Now, I'm Catholic, so you all know our services are very traditional, but Even in a Catholic service, we can find ways to make it fun and interactive. And one way is to enter into your service with the mindset of a detective, right? Like you're listening for the message that God has planted in that mass or in that service for you. He wants you to leave with that message and he called you there. So there will be a message for you. So that could be really fun. And guess what? This also helps you pay attention, which could end up being fun. I know a lot of times it's tempting to zone out in church, but if you're paying attention, you might enjoy it more and have more fun. And in fact, this Sunday, our our pastor m- made us laugh really hard during his homily. It was um, some really funny things that he said. And if I was zoned out, I would have missed the joke and the fun. And so paying attention is definitely one way that you could have fun. Another fun thing about going to church is seeing your friends. And really, that is one of the main benefits of going to church, is to be in a community with other believers, people who support you and will help you through any difficult times that you might be going through and celebrate the good times with you. It's a great community of people. So don't rush out of there after your service is over. Linger for a few minutes and find someone to talk to. You know, intentionally work on building relationships that can extend outside of your your service or your mass. It will be fun. Okay, one last idea about having fun in church, and that is to consider visiting other churches from time to time. It's really fun to see like the different architecture and the different buildings and even the different ways that different churches do things. Even if it's in your same denomination, there will be some things that are different. And so I would definitely suggest doing that. It can be really fun. Okay, so now let's move on to ways that you can have fun outside of your weekly church time. So one of my very favorite ways to have fun in my faith life is by being outside in nature. I love to bring my journal out there and spend time in prayer. I just feel so connected to God outside 
to see with my eyes the beauty of his creation, to listen with my ears to the sounds of the birds, and to smell with my nose the pretty flowers, sometimes sitting in the soft grass, just how soft and beautiful it feels. Man, now that the weather's warming up, I'm so excited to get out there. And this, for me, is one of my like main ways. Like This just, just feels so good to me and as a fun way of, of cultivating my faith life and having fun. Um, another way to have fun in your faith life is with music. So, of course, Christian music is going to have some specific messages, and there are some super fun Christian songs out there, right? And there are, I think there are spiritual messages in other songs that aren't necessarily Christian. So if you happen to be listening to a different station, be on the lookout for it, you know, for ways that God might be talking to you through the words and giving you messages. I know, um, I really believe he got, God definitely talks to me through music and it helps me, it reminds me of things. And that to me is really fun because I feel like I'm just like looking for God all the time. Like, where is he showing up in my life? And that to me is fun. And so on that note, you can also have fun with faith-based movies. If you just Google like best Christian movies, you'll find a list of movies that will make you laugh and warm your heart and maybe buoy your faith life too. And so that could be a Friday night movie, could be a Christian movie maybe, and that will help you have fun in your faith life. Another super fun way to connect with God is through art. Now, I'm not an artist at all, but in the last few years, I have attended a couple of spiritual art journaling classes where you might um, take a scripture that you think God is speaking to you, and then you would create like a canvas, a beautiful canvas that would reflect that to you and help remind you of what God's trying to communicate to you with. And so that's a really neat way to connect with God. And that's a great way for people who might be better with art than with words. So if you if this concept resonates with you, let me know and because I can connect you with someone who is an expert in it and you can uh, maybe explore it for yourself. So another way that I love to have fun in my faith life is by reading Christian fiction books. I've read a few that I really love, and I love having like the faith-based message as part of the story. And some of the ones that I've read have been like historical fiction too, which is really fun. I I do love that as well. So, you know, it's just kind of like surrounding yourself with your faith all the time in ways that are fun, right? It's great. Another way is joining a Bible study. That is a great way to have fun, to learn about scripture and God's teachings, but to be in a small community of women where you're forming friendships and you can even start doing things outside of your Bible study, that would be fun as well. And so that's something the past few years that I've been working on. It's a newer thing for me, and I really, I really love it. It's something I look forward to every single week. And um, it's a great way to be connected to your faith, and it's fun too. Another um, thing that I have learned about recently is something called holy yoga. Now, I have not had a class, although I would like to take one. I know a couple of women who teach it. And the idea with holy yoga is that it embraces like the, the main elements of yoga, which is your breath work and a little meditation in the physical postures. But Holy yoga adds in scripture. So you're like meditating on scripture and Christ is the focus of the, that time that you spend doing the holy yoga. So you can Google that for more information. That's something that at some point I would like to try. And then finally, another way that I love having fun in my faith is by using devotionals to connect with God in my quiet time. So you can you can pick like any topic that you might like some guidance or booing of your faith in and see what God says about it and get uh, teachings on it from people who are experts. And so I use an app called the Holy Bible app on my phone. It's just really easy. And it even has like a verse of the day that pops up every morning. And so um, just something to kind of give you a little bit more scripture in your life. And I, I find it really fun. Like you can find different, I love that you can find different themes to um, to learn about. And so, so that's another way that I wanted to share with you. And so, so far, girls, the things that I've shared with you are some of the ways that I'm most familiar with that add fun to my faith life. But 
In order to share a few more ideas with you, I want to mention a book that I read a few years ago. It's called Sacred Pathways, Discover Your Soul's Path to God. The author is Gary Thomas. So in this book, he describes nine different ways that people connect with God. And so I'm just going to very briefly list these nine ways in case one of them resonates with you, because that could be your fun path to connecting with God or your meaningful path, something that you're really interested in. And so the nine ways are through nature. So someone like me, I find joy connecting with God best outdoors. There are also sensates. They find joy connecting with God through their senses like art and music. And then there are traditionalists who find joy connecting with God through like religious ritual and symbols and going to weekly church services. And then there are the ascetics, and they find joy connecting with God in solitude, in simplicity, just being quiet and having prayer time. And then you have people who on the opposite end of that are activists, and they find joy connecting through God through like confrontation confrontation and fighting for godly principles and values. And then, you know, these people, you have caregivers, and they find joy connecting with God through serving others and giving of themselves. And God bless the caregivers. Wow. And then we have the enthusiasts. So these people are really good at like the celebration and the party. And that's how they love. That's how they love connecting with God. And I think we probably all know some enthusiasts in our lives, too. And then also there are the contemplatives. And so these people find joy connecting with God through adoration and a very active prayer life. And then finally, there are the intellectuals. They find joy connecting with God with their mind. And they find that that opens up their hearts. And they can understand and like be learning something new about God. They really like learning about God. And so those are the nine ways that Gary Thomas has identified that people connect with God. And I just really want to share that with you because if you happen to be stuck in a rut somewhere or or want to know how to develop your faith life, how to grow your faith life, this could be a really great way for you to do it. And I want you to know that it can be fun. Of course, there's times for reverence and sorrow and solitude, but there are also ways that we can be more expansive and have some more fun with it, and it will really help you grow your faith life. And so I know that this might not be as easily said than done, and so if you would like to explore having more fun with your faith life, reach out to me for a complimentary discovery call. We can take a look at where you are and where you want to be and what's holding you back and come up with a strategy and a mind shift to help you get there. Also remember, I have created the ultimate guide to guilt-free self-care to help you feel like your best self every day. And you'll find that on my website. Don't forget to join us in the Proverbs 31 community on Facebook. All right, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week.